In this one, we are not going to score a single run for an entire day of test cricket. So for basically 90 over straight, we are just going to do that, defend and defend and defend and also leave the ball. But other than that, we are going to be doing absolutely nothing. This video might actually be the hardest to record, to play and of course I don't know how entertaining it would be to watch uh, but let's see it might actually turn out to be a lot more fun. I have tried to make the game as hard as possible so the sliders are turned all the way up as you can see the pace is already there, the ball is going to swing a lot, the ball is going to spin, the pitch has grass and a lot of cracks so this is going to be a very Weird kind of challenge, I don't know if I'd say it would be hard, but let's see. India have four spinners, so this is gonna happen a lot as well. I'm just gonna keep missing straight balls if I go on the front foot. On the back foot, you can play them, but going on the front foot to defend the ball is a risky thing once again. I don't know why this was, I mean, they didn't even appeal for this pitches and I think yeah it has gone right through the middle of the bat I mean if that happens I don't know what to do and again miss completely this time got a little bit of back thigh pad there this is just too much turn toss up and again very very solid against left arm leg spin I mean, I can leave a lot of balls and hopefully the ball doesn't come crashing straight in into the stumps. That is very wide and yeah, it is actually called wide. So that will be our first run, but I still haven't scored a single run. I mean, if they give me gifts, I can't really do anything about that. But I would have loved to just keep that zero going for as long as possible. It lasted 11 overs. And tries to spin it from outside the leg stump and he did that successfully. I don't know why they are appealing but still he could get my leg stump pulling like that again. A lot of turn from over the wicket. Pitches outside leg and then comes back in. And a googly this time and a front foot defense works. That is very rare. Now run rate is 0 0.06 and even that one run. Now this might actually be close, I missed a straight toss stop, full toss I think. I don't know how that happened, maybe I was a little late but I should have got some connection on it. Oh my god, I was painfully late. We lose our first, we get a duck after 55 balls. Oh that's gone as well, two wickets in the same over. This might actually be one of the best balls you'll ever see from a leg spinner because it has Pissed at good length, spun in and gone between bat and bat, even got a bit of the inside edge and then it goes back onto the middle stump. That is a lot of turn. Ah, oh, now missed a straight one. This one just did not turn, went with the angle. Maybe a slider and the bounce saved me or my off stump would have been gone here as well. Actually some pad on it, standing outside the off stump, so LBW is almost entirely out of the question. Edged and gone, that's beautifully bold. First ball of Chadeja and he takes a wicket, that was pitching on middle stump and of course the ball has been turning so much. Get an outside edge and gone, wicket number 3 gone. We still have 70 overs to bat almost, I mean I don't know. We only have 7 wickets in hand. Perfect ball there. This might actually be wide. Our second run comes after 23 overs. That as well a wide. I still haven't scored a single run off the pad. This might be close but I think the impact will be outside off stump. They're not gonna review it but it was very close. It was definitely hitting off stump and the impact might actually be in line as well. That was close. Whoa. Full toss, went from the bowler's hand to the keeper's gloves, didn't pitch anywhere else. That was, that was not the greatest footwork there. I played a yorker almost on the back foot. I don't know how I managed to connect, 
that should have been plumb in front or maybe even bold but got the middle of the bat in the end now that's a beautiful ball they're going to appeal but it came off the back pad and impact of course is going to be outside off stump so lbw is almost out of the question entirely just a lot of turn there smith inching towards his century 78 balls now right arm leg spin and he starts off with a full toss why are full tosses so hard to play if he bowls them on the stumps it might actually be over again quick doesn't turn or anything but still beats the outside edge and now a googly thank god he put his foot in the right direction quick oh, almost it rolled back onto the leg stump and i think it was still rolling and the wicket keeper came in and collected it or else it probably would have been bowled maybe a bit of pad and then just rolls back doesn't stop or anything but the keeper comes back comes in and stops it for god knows what reason that should have been out and again too quick But yeah, this is the advantage of standing so far outside the off stump. I just need to pad it away and pretend like I'm playing a shot. We are almost one third the way through. One session almost done. We but we still have two entire sessions left after this. We lost three wickets already. Oh, almost lost the fourth one there. How close was that to the top of off stump? Googly almost, almost gets the bails. Tosses it up this time. I decide to play it on the back foot, and I guess uh, this is the way to play full tosses in this game. Defend on the back foot. It's bowling really full. A little quicker as well. If I miss, I'm gone. So he might actually be the most dangerous bowler here. And this ball, man, this ball might actually be much more dangerous than a good length delivery from Megra because every time he bowls it, I've missed it until the last two times. and now is pace and when i mean pace it is some serious pace smith 111 balls zero runs but i still don't know how to bat a googly didn't pick it or anything I mean, it was a slider it wasn't even a googly but how much did that ball turn balls it outside the leg stump no way that's wide in a test match how is that wide We scored, or actually we've gotten five runs. Make it six. They are giving us some runs out of pity, I think. After forty overs, we managed to score or get six runs. Still zero runs off the bat, and why? My God, is he quick? And solid in defence. A nice stride and defend the ball, and just hope and pray you don't edge it to the keeper. They have. One, two, three, four fielders on the boundary line, and our run rate is I don't know somewhere near zero point zero zero. Again, this time cheated me with no spin. Edged and doesn't carry. Kuldeep Yadav bowling much slower than the others, so that's the only reason this one didn't carry. Gets the outside edge. Look at those cracks! A hundred and fifty-four deliveries and still unbeaten, uh, but we're still doing that. A lot of close calls. The keeper very quick to remove the bails. I don't know if I even went out of the crease for a second. No, I think still in. I don't know who's more bored, the batsman or the bowlers. And oh, that was close again. Once again, almost rolled back onto the stump. The keeper might actually be. the best australian player so far because he saved two wickets already this time comes through the stumps comes through the batsman to save me that's the level of dedication he has to protect our wickets head on 99 and head will get to 100 come on someone clap 55 overs if someone plays like this i don't expect uh, anyone to stick around And again, but this time I think it was an inside edge, and the keeper takes it. Was it an inside edge or what? And this marathon innings of 
Well, 170 deliveries comes to an end. We have another 35 overs to go. Look at that. Again, beautifully bowl a lot of turn and it was an inside edge. The gap between bat and pad has led to two wickets already. This one with a bit of extra bounce. I don't know why they're appealing. There's no way that's hitting the stumps. There's no way the impact was in line. Bounce like a tennis ball almost. And even height was a problem. Oh, that's that's a peach. That might be one of the better balls they've bowled all day. And they still don't get a wicket though. That run rate has gone from 0 0.06 and it has almost doubled to 0 0.12. They still have a field at deep square leg. I don't know for what. Ed Stanny has dropped it. Well, that just had to happen. He has been too good at taking catches and that will be his first drop. What was that defense? Why did he even jump? This is not playing against pace bowling. This is a nice tossed up slow shot delivery. Gets the toe of the bat. Well, you only have six more wickets left. And I don't know how many batsmen, maybe two or three at most. And that will be the end of session number two. So we are two thirds of the way this entire challenge. Look at how many tucks. But the best tuck of them all, 160 deliveries. We have to face how many overs is left. 31 overs. So that is 186 balls. Edge then once again doesn't carry. The wall has actually started to spin a lot less than it did in the first 20 overs. And beaten once again, but we don't really care. We're just covering our stumps and standing there for another 30 overs. That's all we need to do. Thank God they didn't appeal because that looked like it was a stumping. Just a little inside the line. Edged and goes on one bounce again. It's gonna come from around the wicket, which means I am gonna stand outside the off stump. Now it all comes down to the impact because I'm sure it's hitting the stump. The umpire is not interested, so we at least have umpire's call on our side and they are gonna review it. This might be very, very close. Let's see if our strategy of standing outside the off stump works here. There we go. Impacts outside off and wickets are hitting but we still survive. Another lovely ball. Too much turn. Didn't expect that. Look at where the bat is and look at where the ball ended up. Another 25 overs to go and that's gone as well. Bat, pad and shoe and then caught I think. 128 balls for his zero. And we lose our 6th wicket here, 4 more wickets to go, our last batsman is at the crease. Well, we have 5 more wickets left. Edged and it goes and of course I can't run, please don't go for 4 now, thank god it won't. I almost started running there but then realized what we are actually doing here. I don't know why they don't have a first slip because the amount of time the ball hasn't carried to that feeler, uh, third slip. And this time goes very fine, the keeper no chance. They can keep as many fielders as they want around the bat, another drop catch, thank you. I mean even this would have probably gone straight to first slip from the keeper's gloves, look at that. First a deflection, then just almost pops up. Would have been taken by first slip. But we can't set their fields for them. It's and gone. Come on. Two drop catches but he holds on to the third one. We lose I think our last batsman. Yep. Now it's on to the bowlers. We still have 25 overs to go though. That is a long time. But we have been batting for a much much longer time. 66 overs already. This has been a marathon, a very, very boring marathon. And now I'm just missing straight balls, even though it turned a lot. Still should have got some bat on it, went on the back foot for God knows what reason. I think I just uh, saw the ball. It was a little shorter than it was. 
full slides on and a very satisfying dismissal. Why is he looking at the toe of the bat? That didn't even connect. That wasn't your bat's fault. 20 overs left, 7 for 7. And now we are gonna have to face some pace. We are not doing a good job of it so far. I've just missed a straight full delivery. They are gonna maybe even go upstairs. That looked very close. Let's see. Well, this might actually have been out, but they haven't reviewed it. Goes for a Dusra. Ah, again, that shouldn't be wide in a test match. It's not like they're bowling negative here and now flat straight. Full quick. This time goes down the leg side. They're not even appealing for anything anymore. They're just that poor, but it was going down the leg side a long way. Now they have four fielders on the boundary line. And I've scored nine runs in the entire day. That was so close again to the outside edge. Tossed up, googly, what was that? Where was the foot going? Where was the bat? And that ends up hitting the leg stump. That's how my stump ball turned. It pitched way outside the off stump and spins so much that it hits leg stump. Well, 8 gone now. We still have 12 overs to go. Another one. That was full. I am going to review it because once again the impact might be close. I'm sure it's hitting the stump. Only issue that might come up is the impact. And once again, there we go. Outside off and hitting middle of middle. Doesn't matter though. We'll get another life, but we just have two wickets to left. Now, are they going to take the new ball? Yes, they are. 80 overs gone and they are going to have a try with the new ball, but they're still going to go with spin. Another 10 overs to go. Come on, no more wickets, please. And no more wides. I seriously do not want to defend for any longer than I have to. Comes back in. Wait, what? That's out? How is that out? I am going to review it for sure. The impact was outside off and I think it's still spinning too much. Pitching outside off. Impacts in line and still it's turning too much. No, it's not. That will be umpire's call. How is that umpire's call? That's not even touching the stump. There goes our captain. Now we are on our last leg. Only one wicket left. The new ball might actually work here. Get solid in defense, just another two more overs to go and I cannot wait for this to be over. This has been the most boring challenge we've ever done. But we are almost at the end. 88 overs and they have decided to go off the field. Thank God, I seriously did not have the energy to play another 12 balls. Look at how many ducks there are on that scorecard. 163 ball duck, 128 ball duck. We did end up winning the challenge. I mean, I did not score a single run off the bat. They gave me 13 wides in one day of test cricket. That is, that's way too much. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see another exciting challenge like this, exciting test match challenge like this, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.